Hi, it's Melissa. Welcome to Messy Missy Creates. Sometimes that's a mouthful or a tongue twister. Um, I am going to do a little bit of a magazine harvest uh, for my journal, for my glue book. Um, I've done these before. And um, sometimes I use it as a, like I sat down to journal and just wasn't feeling it. So sometimes I use this as a warm up. Um, it usually gets my inspiration going. Um, I, I almost said I was feeling a little less than inspired, but the truth is, is I'm tired. And so I think that's it more than anything. So I'm going to use this as a way of getting warmed up. And usually by the time I finish a couple magazines, I'm, I have found something that makes me want to work in my journal or my glue book. So I just got um, a big bag of magazines from a friend of mine. And these are, there's mostly Southern Living, some good housekeeping, which I don't have any Southern Living, I don't think. Um, I don't know why I don't, but I probably do. I just haven't gone through them yet. Hmm. February of 2014. Some of these are from 2010. Let's see. Ooh, the pies of summer. Before and I, let's see. March 16, 2015. I know I saw one. Oh, April of 2010. Um, look, Valerie Bertinelli was 50 in 2010. Um, that is the funny thing about looking at older magazines. But anyway, so I also find that I like to look, um... I mean, obviously, when it's spring, I, you know, we're waiting on anticipating spring, and I don't really want to look at a Christmas edition or a Thanksgiving edition right now. So, I try to stick with, if I can, with the seasons. That tends to, um, especially for my journal, maybe the glue book, so it doesn't matter so much. But anyway, I find that's what I'm most drawn to, and I see this gorgeous purple right off the bat. Now that's the cover of, that's the back side of the cover. So I don't want to take that one just yet. Let's see. I don't have a whole lot of room here, but um, I do think there's an awful, I think there's an awful lot of writing on this, but I do see some good purple that I can use. So I have my little bins right here. This one is my glue book one. Um, if you didn't see me make that video, how I labeled and these are those Dollar Tree baskets. So those are where I'm putting stuff. Okay, I see pink and purple right off the bat. I uh, will grab that. Good, they're coming out easily too. You, sometimes that first page is really hard to get. Oh, isn't that funny? Hmm. I do think that I can... Hmm. I think that I can cut out a couple of these and use for, I don't know, I might grab those later. Um, no, actually, you know what? See, this is what gets me going. Um, I just gotta find my glue book real quick. Um, wherever it is. Anyway, that, um, I was not too far from being done with that hot pink page. So, I can actually start looking at things that aren't all backgrounds. So, yay. Um, that's neat. Not sure where I would put that just yet. Mm, I'm going to go ahead and pull it, though. I have gotten better at leaving the pages in that I'm not sure what I'm going to do with. But that one could be... That's a big enough section. It could go as either a background or a focal piece on my one of my brown or neutral pages. This has some background pieces in it, but let me just look at the bathtub. Okay. Allison, this is for you. Oh, look at the little gecko. There's your bathtub. Um, if y'all watched Allison's video, if you know, you know. Um, it came out today, actually, finally. I know she's been waiting on it for a while. 
but it was our last week's prompt. Um, oh, if you're wondering, if you were looking for my, if you're wondering why the video for my prompt challenge didn't come out this Wednesday, it's because Allison and I did a live on her channel last, or this past Saturday. So, um, you'll have to go back, you'll have to go to Allison at AJ's Inspired Life, go to her channel, and look at the, watch that live, and we let the people that were there in the live pick the prompts. So, okay, this is too cute. That's gonna have to go. Ah, don't tear, dang it, don't tear the pages. Okay, but I really love that too. That actually would be harder, hard to cut out. But I love that pop of green against that. Well, that may not happen. Just like bum cheeks. TP and whites are meant to go together. Okay. Well, on that note, you know, I sure do love this jacket for that pink page. But how do you, if you glue book... I know um, some of you are new and welcome and welcome to, I'm, I'm glad to have inspired some new people um, to get going on their glue books. Um, but if you're a seasoned glue book or a new book, glue booker and have an idea, how do you, do you just go ahead and cut it like, cause that's what I'm thinking. I would just go ahead and cut it out and then overlap. Okay, I just answered my own question. Thank you for your help. That's what I'm going to do and see how it goes. I don't even know if I finished that sentence. How you, um, would you just cut this out and then just cut it along that line and then cover that, like overlap something on that little piece of sleeve right there. I think that'll work. I think it will. I love that bed. I just don't know what to do with those pages. I don't know what to do with them. Ooh, that's a pretty flower. It's a pretty dress. Um, that plate. Let's see. I'm trying to cut, pretend like I'm cutting that and see if I can make it through and miss all of the I can, I can cut that whole thing out and miss most all of those numbers except for that. That would be pretty on a, I don't have a peach page. Um, that one would be a pretty little piece. All right, what's on the back? Okay, I'll take it. Not 100% sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but it can sit right there. I like that flower, but, well, I actually need some of that black background, too. Because remember, um, if you watched my last video, I wanted to put those sheep on that page, and I didn't, couldn't quite, I didn't have enough black background. And I really want that black, that background on that page, because it's going to be black and white. I really had envisioned having the background mostly black, and then have the black and white or white, you know, not just the white background, if that made sense. Um, I do think that at some point, and I think that's what I would use these for, at some point I want to do a glue book that's not just color, that's just more whatever catches your eye. So I think I will do that next. I want to get you know, a better grip on what I'm doing first. That one could easily go on a green page. I hate that that's, let's see what's on the back. Well, either one of those could go. I had a really good head start on my green page and then I just stopped with that. I don't know what happened to the rest of my green. Well, here's some more green. Oh, darn. Those are pretty flowers. I love camellias. I do not have one. I have a friend who has one and I tried to propagate it. 
um, you know, tried to get a cutting of it, but anyway, I was not successful with that one. I definitely would cut these out and then use some of this kind of minty green. And then I, I have to use some of these flowers. So some of the minty green is just gonna have to go by the wayside. Let's see. Here's some more Dayquil NyQuil for when I'm sick next time. Man, I hope I don't get sick anytime soon. I think I've had my fair share in the last whatever. These pink camellias. I would use this in my journal, probably this little garden shear for when I'm trimming something. So I'm going to take this one and very carefully. Now this one, I don't know if I'd use it in my journal or if I'd use it in the glue book, but I know I'd take that. So I'm going to put it in the, I'm going to put that one in the journal bin. And then I'm going to find that in the journal bin and go, why is that in the journal bin? Let's see. See, all these are so pretty. I love looking at all these flowers. Ooh, look at that. Look at this. Wouldn't that be pretty on the rainbow page? Except, boy, it is right up against the edge. So I might have to wait until I have some more of the pages out. But isn't that, oh, that's all just gorgeous. Yeah, that page needs to come out. Well, okay. Well, I get, oh, shoot. It wants to come out. No, don't tear, darn it. Okay. Fiddles. Well, at least that didn't tear. Oh yeah, that petunia, um, those would go in my, would put that in my journal. Uh, decisions, decisions, decisions. This is like a light green, but it's more of a cream colored. Um, the Grumpy Gardener, I love these articles. So I obviously do have some Southern Living because I've read Grumpy's, um, articles many times. Uh, not sure what that is. I want to say it's a ladybug, but yeah, ladybugs are invading my house. How do I get rid of them? Oh, please don't hurt the ladybugs. Um, it says, fortunately, ladybugs are harmless unless you happen to be an aphid. Uh, I did, I have a journal video um, that says, uh, I think it's titled Story of a Ladybug. I think I'm going to have to take this. See, I'm starting to think about, I'm starting to think about focal, focal pieces now too. Because how perfect would those be on red pages? I know I might be able to use that background too, but I don't know. I love using these. I uh, don't know what page I would use that on in this color glue book, but so the, let's see, magnolias. I love a magnolia tree. I would use that background if I didn't use anything else off that page. Uh, sure, why not? Sure, why not? Let's see. How many magazines will we get through today? Hmm. Oh, wow. Look at that color combination. Wow. Huh. Too bad that's in the middle of it, but there sure is plenty of it to... And there's nothing but, uh oh. Let me see if I can encourage these to do better. Because I already started tearing, so. Okay. 
that's pretty. Very pretty. Definitely a, a different color combination. Um, that one too. It's the little piece of that. Hmm. Oh, isn't that cool? Ooh, another bathroom. A window and a bathtub. Um, how would you use that? I guess you just, well, first you have to tear it out. Uh-oh. Well, put my thumb right through that page, didn't I? I'm glad it wasn't anything important. I wish that was me. I haven't been able to, okay, now this is going to sound bad. I was going to say I haven't been able to take a bath in about two years. Okay, I have not been able to take a sit in the bathtub bubble bath because I can't quite get down in the bathtub just yet, but I'm getting there. It's getting closer. So when I get there, that picture is going in my journal page. I'll have to remember. Okay, this is ideal. This is an amazing background piece and it already has a focal piece on it looky there let's see if i can get it out without doing too much damage to it okay that's not too bad yay look at those pictures of the moon back there that would be really pretty on that black and white page and even though it says home on it that's that's okay that's pretty cool. All right, I might have to try that on that black and white page. Or maybe that page that um, I have kind of the gray and black. I have a black and white page, a gray and black page, and a gray and white page that turned into just sort of a neutral page. Oh, if only. I don't know, I might would cut that out but again if I don't know what I'm gonna do with it or at least have an inkling okay I need some blue background darn it and I don't think I can tear up that kitchen because I love that light I would take just that light I would take this island I think man oh man okay perhaps I should take it Seeing how I can now find several uses for the, either side. Well. Hmm. Hmm. Not sure yet. Not sure how I'd use it. I have an idea, but I like that other side too, so. All right, if I'm torn, it's better to leave it in the, in the book. Hmm. It's funny the ad, how the ads change over, over time. I don't know if you know who Jennifer Nettles is, but boy, how can she sing? She can sing. She doesn't need music, instrument, anything. She just is amazing. Okay. I'm going to take this. A um, couple reasons. Because I see some good pink background. But I like her. Now, that's going to be a pain in the booty to a fussy cut. But I see a good bit of, you know, pink background that I can use. And... This side's not too bad either. I could cut that out. So, that had a couple reasons, a couple things. What else do we have? Flip phone. Huh, interesting. Okay, this is kind of funny. Oh, Norman Rockwell, okay. That's actually kind of funny. If you were to cover that up or cut that out like that, I don't know. He can stay there for a minute, though. 
he can stay there. Oh, I like looking at all the places too. Now, would you cut this out? Um, maybe for a yellow page or not quite there. I'm still, I still have a lot of backgrounds to do. But I'm at the point of a couple of pages where, see, I would probably cut this bowl out and put it on a blue page. That was the first thing I saw. Oh, yeah. And these and these. And then, you know, cut some of the flowers out and use them on the red and orange pages. Let's see what's back here. Hmm. I don't know. One or the other. Well, I, um, because, yeah, I would cut those out for on the blue page, but... That would kind of go on the on a neutral page, but hmm, gentlemen's quarters. See, I'm not even really paying that close of attention to words. I, I mean, I do if it's on the page that I'm tearing out, but um, that little section might be different on an orange background. I mean, you know, if I cut it like and use that part. I haven't done much with orange, have I? I don't think I have. Um, maybe that's a good place to start. These are some neat little pieces to add. Okay. I don't need the spaghetti and meatballs. So, I'm going to take this for all the little pieces that I'm not ready for, but I like them. Oh, I may need that. I'm going to put that in another pile. Let's see. I wish we could see more of that gingham tablecloth. Oh, and I love that, um, what do they call that, ticking material? Beans and greens. I have a whole mess of collard greens that I need to pick. A bunch of them I've picked and haven't cut up yet. Um, collards, turnip greens, slow simmered in a pot liquor, often serve, served with beans or field peas. In Italy, bitter greens like, I don't know what that is. And chicory. Okay, I, I'm growing chicory, so that is considered a bitter green. Huh. Huh. I might have to research that because I really didn't know what to do with my chicory other than it's, I knew it was something I wanted to grow. Mm, Italian potato salad. Okay. All right. I will um, come back to those because I, I want that page, but I want to read it first. Hmm, that's got lots of teal on it, but that's going to be hard to separate. Oh, I think I know what page I could put that on. Oh, well, if not, that. This needs to come to my house. Lemon lime pound cake. Okay, I need that recipe, and then I'm going to use that picture. I think I keep hitting the cord. If I do, I'm so sorry. Okay. Not sure, not sure. Um, I love that blue, but I'm, think I'm thinking that's too busy to put on a blue page, but I might be wrong. So, um... Well, there's only one way to find out. And if not, I can use the other side. 
give thanks on a Tuesday. All right, this has a lot of solid color background. It's very neutral. It's a little yellow, but not really yellow. I'm sure I can use it somewhere. that on a green page. Put a sticker over Sam's Club. Is it worth? Sure. Might as well. All right, I think I have found more for the glue book than I have the journal. Oh, that's pretty. And that's pretty. I love that pink. It looks like depression wear. It might be depression wear, but that's a, and you know what? I think that's the, that blushy pink that I actually have, um, in my journal. And yes, I know that I am being very matchy matchy with my washi tape, but actually if you watched my first video where I talked about doing a glue book, that was kind of my plan. Um, not to, I mean, I stuck to the rainbow a good bit, but I was using multicolored washi and I was letting the washi inform what colors were going to be on that page. So that was kind of my intent. Um, and then also in my brain, everything has to match. So that would make a great brown background of some sort. Okay, that one can go in the, my first... Uh, Let's see, one of these did not have much. I, I just flipped through it real quick. Oh, that's cute. See, that's adorable. That's super cute. Oh, look at the washi tape. Okay, you're coming with me. Um. I can see things that I would use on the glue book and in my journal. So, um, I'm going to put it in the journal pile first, get what I get off of it from my journal, and then that would be a good picture to do one of those little face thingies with. There's peach. Um, yeah, I would use that. If... I knew I wasn't going to use that, so I'm going to let that one sit. I always look for strawberries because we are picking strawberries right and left right now out of the garden. So I use them almost, well, I could use them every day if I have them. Um, I like those words. It says good advice, but it looks like old wood stamps maybe. Oh, there's some celery. Too bad it's got that word through it. I have plenty of celery to pick, too. Ooh, that's neat. Hmm. Alrighty. Oh, look at all the creatures. Um... I was just looking for something. The ladybug, the frog. Yeah, I might have to come back for that one. Man, she's got a heck of a smile. <gasps> a chocolate bunny. Okay, you're coming with me, chocolate bunny. Oh, and look at all that red. There's only a little bit of purple that I would take off of this one, and the rest of it, I can get that kind of reddish-orange. Yes, I like the little doggy with the bone, but I don't have a little doggy in my life, and I really want a little bunny. Um, oh, do I need him in my journal or the glue book? Oh, that's a great neutral background. Very few words, a few feet. Yeah, that'll be easy to use. Even with the 
the table legs and the people's legs and can a flower help a family well that's just too cool and I love this border. I love that texture. <laughs> oh, it says start them young. I'm assuming it means, I don't know if it means starting them reading or recycling or whatever, but this is your future glue booker right here. Can you see that? Yep, future glue booker. Start them young. Okay, I want this one for multiple reasons. The border, that, and he's just too cute. And I really want this. I hope there's nothing good on the back. Aw. I do like the wheelbarrow, though. I wonder if I like that. I guess I better take this page while I'm at it, or I will not remember which book that border is in if I want some more of it. Ooh, look at all that fun green. Okay, good. Finding some colors that I needed and some lemons. Of course, it's right down here with all that fun green. Darn it. And I tore that. Darn it, darn it, darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. That's all right. We'll live. Oh, I had one. I think it looked just like that. Okay, that's coming with me. Those are some thick pages all of a sudden. Just random thick pages. Wow, that's so cool, that Valorant. Do you remember those? Okay. Look at that parrot. Yeah, I definitely could use some of this. Paper, paper everywhere. I may need that for my journal. Because right now I have paper, paper everywhere. And I sure do like that parrot. Okay. Man, I wish those cans weren't in front of those glass bottles. Wow. Okay. There's black and white. I love this background, though. Look at that. Look at that pretty aqua. Hmm. Oh, that's funny. I'm sure I could use that. I'm just not sure where. Oh, she's cute. Um, not sure. I know I could use that background. Oh, menopause land. Yay. I know where that place is. Hmm. That block of cheese is... Uh, Sure looks tempting for an orange page, doesn't it? Does it outrank this little bit of purple in menopause land? It might. Well, I'll play with it and see what see what we think. It's another little chocolate bunny. And a Mrs. Dash. That's always fun. Okay, let me see if I can, I want to salvage that Cosmos glass. Hope I'm not shaking you up too much. Ah! Took a little more of it than I intended, but that's okay. Because I probably will use this this piece on an aqua page. And then I'll probably cut out the little bunny. And if I have room, I would probably cut out this little Mrs. Dash thing. 
Okay. That actually could go on a green. I like the utensils right there. That's too cute. Really? Where was this when I needed an avocado for my, um, this would have, I just got these magazines today. This would have been so adorable on a collage page for an avocado. Darn it. Okay. I'm going to pull it because it's either going to go in the glue book or I'm going to save it just in case I have to do another avocado. This is tempting to me, but I don't know how in the world I would use it. And I may only get through one page today. Look at that. I mean, that's easy to cover up. Look at how beautiful that page is. See, I knew I would be, I haven't, oh, look at that. <laughs> look at that. Um, ooh. Yeah, might have to. Yep, might have to. Okay, that's too cute. Hmm, who is this? Oh, Courtney Cox, okay. Oh, looky there. Looky there, looky there. I like that. I could use that background too. Wouldn't get a whole lot out of it, but look at this bag of kisses and that. Uh oh, I like that picture. Can I get? I don't want to tear her though. Let me let me get out a couple more pictures and then I'll come back and get that one. A uh, couple more pages because usually the more you tear out, the um, easier they get to tear out. Because I I want that one right up to the edge. That's so cute. Look at the little puppy. Hmm. Mascara, anyone? Mascara tools. Faces. Faces. This is me. I don't like that. Um, well, the wind up feeling like I need an energizer battery. Um, I use that one, not this, this has too much stuff on it, but there's another ad that is like that, that I use for when I'm having my fatigue days. I like that eye. I'm not looking for eyes right now. I'm looking for journal inspiration and I'm looking for glue book. I like this. I might have to use that. I, I mean, I like her, not the Capri Sun. A little soccer ball. This little kid up here is cute. Okay, that one's going in my journal bin. I might would use some of his makeup. I got some makeup yesterday. I have been needing some for a while. Ugh. I like that. And I love these. And I'm so glad that there's no writing on them. Look at that. It's about time. Of course, I would use these Easter eggs. I would use this shopping bag. And I would use that cake. So, I know I'm going to use the green dress or green jacket, but if I don't use, oh, never mind, that's going to cut right in the middle of that green dress. That's okay. That's all right. I like the green dress better. Oh, look at the Easter eggs. Okay, so I have not pulled anything for my Easter, Easter page. 
in my glue book. I do have an Easter page. And I haven't pulled anything for it, I don't think. So I need to do that. Oh, that's so cute. Oh, and look at that. Look at that. What, how would I use that though? Oh, look at these circles. Okay, I need those bunnies. That is so cute. I love a table runner. And this is so pretty. And I would definitely use those. I love all of this, but these circles. Anyway, um, I had a few people that commented and told me that it was helpful because they were new. So it was helpful to have a video like this that, um, you know, showing how you select or, you know, when I did the background video, um, you know, because I think a lot of people who do glue book videos, they skip over the boring part, maybe. And, you know, you assume that maybe assume that people know how to do that. And, you know, maybe not everybody does or maybe everybody need or some people need some inspiration to get started. So. I almost didn't post that last blue book video where it was um, the one titled filling in the backgrounds or filling in backgrounds. And um, I'm glad I did. And, you know, cause even though it's not as exciting as all the focal images, I think it's still important. Okay, I definitely will use that. And I definitely will use that and that, except I really like this. So I have a dilemma. But when I get to the glue book, I will figure that out. Okay, these spoons are too cute. They're gonna have to go in there. They're just little silver measuring spoons, you say. But would that not look so cool? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh-oh. Somebody tore out some pages. Okay, I love the beach picture, but I really don't know. I don't really want a thing of Adver, but that actually would go pretty well. Let me see what's on. Oh, yes. Okay, decision, easy decision, because I'll cut it out if I don't like it. I didn't waste anything, right? Because I can always put a sticker over the Adver, but that purple coming out on that circle, I think that would be really cool. On the purple page. Okay, and this Febreze. Oh, she's, they're cute. Well, can placemats keep your kids off drugs? Sure. I need some palm trees for something else, so I might use those. It's something totally unrelated, but I know I'm gonna use that right there. And look at all that orange. Um, Earth Day. That's coming up. Cupcake Pebbles. Rub and Sniff. Oh, see, I like that. That new... And this would be a pain in the rumpus to um, cut out, but that's kind of cool too. Do you know what a rumpus is? That's really cute. Of course, I like that blue balloon too. And look at the yellow. I don't think I have a lot of yellow yet either, do I? Huh. And of course, I use that garbage bag in my journal sometimes okay these are my favorite if there's not writing on them so I don't think I have oh here's the rolls of tape and it's probably not washi tape it's painters tape but that's okay look at the colors I love those colors together but I also love these colors these corals and salmon colors 
Let's see. Okay, the washi tape doesn't affect, or the painter's tape. Okay, cool. Good deal. Oh, why is it that it takes almost an hour to go through two magazines? That's neat, too. Some of this I would use. See, I would so use that, but I don't want to use it in my colored glue book. I think I would wait until another type of glue book. And I love the Mr. Gecko. Mm, he might have to come with me. Come on, Mr. Gecko. You're going to live in another pile. Because he might be a focal point on a green page. Okay, now this. Well, look at those legs. Oh my goodness, look at that. Hello. All right. But I want these for the journal. For my journal. Um, these look like journals and pens and all of that. Um, and I'm sure we could find a use for those. So this one goes in the journal basket, but look at this. All right. Come on, tear neatly, please, please, please. Yes, because I think I'm going to use from here up the whole background, just from there up. I like that too. That's cool. Um, yeah, I may need that. I may need that for my journal, although I like the colors of it. On the days where I feel like somebody's taking a wrench to my brain. Put play in your day. See, those are fun words. Little peanut. He's so cute. Hmm. Huh. Oh, sure, why not? So cute. Look at all those little tulips. I just planted some tulips. Okay, that's fun. Let's see. So that one I can get completely. That one I can't. This one I can. I don't know. I might have to come back for that. I like it on the yellow, though. Ooh, hello, yellow. Okay. You're coming with me. And... Oh, can I cut that out? I don't know, but you're coming with me. And you're coming with me. I love Easter and I love spring, just in case you didn't know that. <gasps> look at that. Oh, and look at that. And look at that window. Okay, that's too cool. That is so cool. I don't know if I'm going to cut, that would be so hard to cut that out. Do I just put it all down on the pink page? But I kind of like that. I don't want to just cover it up. I don't know. Let me see. And I like that word fray that's in pink. Okay, here's, oh, and cute shoes. Look at all those fun colors. I didn't think this one, when I glanced through this a minute ago, I didn't think it had a whole lot in it, but I was wrong. Cute. Okay. Definitely want, definitely will use her, and whether in the black and white page or on something. And then all these little images can go on that, and so can this, but I'm going to start with this. And then if not, I definitely would use that. See, there's those fun colors again. Do we need a ham? Okay. Because those can be cut out. 
you very seldom, oh, the green page. Yep, I would use, I'd cut her in that little bench out. Okay. And then I'm going to use this on, I don't know what page. I might have to find some, oh, that's a pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't know. It's a pretty bowl. That looks green. That looks cool. I don't know. I think if I tear out too many at one time, I get overwhelmed a little bit. Do I need some oranges? Maybe. Um... I knew going in that I needed some more for my pink. I wanted to finish my pink backgrounds and I can start doing, wow, okay. And I could start doing some more focal images and then this is a pretty blue. And oh, how cute is she? Look for an orange page maybe. Actually, I might cut her and the whole thing out. That's cool. Oh, Norman Rockwell, I'm sure. Let's see. Oh, how cute. How cute. Um, that's a lot of blue. But that's a cute puppy. Okay. I think I can make both work. Oh, Fruit Loop and Salmon, really? That'd be pretty on a green page, I think. Oh, and another one of those. Oh, look at all this orange. Yeah, you can tell this is an older magazine, too, because I don't think they call that Uncle Ben's anymore, do they? But, I need that orange page. Oh, look at the little jelly bellies. <gasps> How cute. Let's see. Hop, hop, hurry. Those would be hard to cut out, though. Okay, so this looks like our dinner almost every night. I grow our fresh green beans. I grow fresh potatoes. And then we usually have, well, we usually have grilled chicken. So, I'm going to take this from a journal. There's some more orange. I still got to come back to that, I think more green some that's a different shade of purple mauve-ish I don't know if I really want to because I would not leave that like that I would cut it out I'm gonna see what I have and then if I come back and need little bits and pieces I'll cut that out um, that would go on a red page Mmm, some yellow and blue. Oh, I like that. Okay. Why not? Okay, so. No. Oh, oh, that's the cover page, though. Okay. All right, I think I'm going to have to stop there. Wow, it's almost an hour. So I got lots of goodies. Lots of goodies, lots of goodies. So now I'm all inspired again. And I will, um, let's see, I'm not sure which one I'm going to do first. You can drop in the comments which one you'd like to see first, a glue book or a journal video, but it might be whichever one I can feel inspired to do next, So, because I'm kind of inspired to do both. So I will see you in the next video. You have a great day, and I appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.